<laughs> Look at Kaysen. Kaysen that? Yeah, I saw that. You're fucked. Hi boys, I um, hope you're enjoying the trip. Just a few facts about Rotorua. Um, nicknames of Rotorua are Sulphur City and Rota Vegas, as we all know. Uh, population of near 70,000 at 68,900. Real firm service, actually looking forward to it tomorrow. Trying to kick some goals from a long way, I reckon. Yeah. Gareth, what about you, mate? Hitting the ball alright? Yeah, not too bad, mate. The, the bay, the rotor have put on uh, perfect weather for us, as you can see. Uh, pitch is in good nick, so uh, hopefully we're in for a good day tomorrow and a bit of running rugby and kick some goals. Cheers. <laughs> But hey, we're just about to head into my, my old mate uh, Tony Fenner and Sean Powlett's room and see what they're up to. You right, boys? How are we going? Yeah, good, fellas. What, what, what are we up to today? What's, what's, uh, what's going on, boys? What, what have you been up to this morning? Just want to grab a coffee and uh, actually forgot to pay for my hot chocolate, so I just had to run back and uh, pay for me and chickens. Coffee and hot chocolate. <laughs> mate, what, what's... Uh, What's going on? This we've got a bit of Palmer's coconut, coconut butter formula. As you can see, he looks a bit like David Beckham. Uh, is, are you going the whole nine yards with, with all the facial stuff and everything? Mate, what's going on there? Uh, yeah, got to stay fresh, eh? <laughs> now I get a bit of a sore, sore nose, so I have to just run to the pharmacy and get some. And some toothpaste as well, because me and Walt, fuck, we forget to clean our teeth all the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, we can tell by the breath that I smell when we're at breakfast. Um, uh, it's a bit, a bit messy here, boys. Are you, you, don't, you don't look after this stuff too much? You just chill out and... Yeah. We've got rubbish, we've got bottles of water here, yeah. papers, we've got an iPad, take yeah, that home. Fine. Yeah, no, at least there's no junk food around with Gus, we're pretty <laughs> professional here, you know, we maybe a bit messy, but uh, we're pretty professional, so... Uh, <laughs> well, that's, that's what I, I like about you two, yeah. in here and, and trying to tell me. <laughs> okay. Uh, you both got the right attitude, mate. Um, I'm sure the people out there want to know what, what you guys get up to on game day, your, your game prep. Can you tell us a bit about that, what you guys get up to? Yeah, I just try to stay relaxed as possible, uh, try and get a nap in, especially for the late kickoffs. Don't know about today, it's a six o'clock one, just try and work it around, trying to get an hour in before before we have a meeting. Yeah, I just, um, we usually go out and play up with the cards, usually. Uh, I got cleaned up this morning, and, and rummy, um, and that usually eats up a bit of time in the morning, and then, yeah, usually if it's a night game, have a nap, a couple of hours nap, just to freshen up, and then um, just count down for game time, really. It's just a routine you've got to stay in. Yeah, I'm right. just chilling now. Now I know you two boys are into your music. Uh, what you listen to anything before the game, or what's what's your go-to? Um, I don't usually listen to a lot of music before games, but um, I do like a bit of uh, high pace sort of. You're a bit of a Skrillex, a bit of a Skrillex yeah. guy. Isn't nah, it? not not that rubbish. More drum and bass, you know, something uh, gets me going, gets me up. Usually that kind of thing. Yeah. Nice, Bina. Oh, I'm more chilled out, mate. Just a uh, bit of the old '90s club. I want to get some game before the game, just chill out, don't want to get too hyped up. I'm not your forward, so I don't need to be uh, banging my head against the wall before I go out. So, yeah. yeah. Obviously, mate, you've got an English accent. Do you want to tell the people where you're from? What's, what's, your, what's your story? What's your past? You're from uh, London? Yeah, from London. Uh, came over here a couple of years ago just to play some footy, and it went pretty well, so I decided to stay. Uh, yeah, hopefully get a few more years here before uh, maybe going back overseas again. Nice, boys. Well... Thanks for that. No worries. I can get ready for the game. Big one today? Yeah. Let's get it cracking. You deserve it. Right. <laughs> See you later. Right? Get, up. get the hell out of my room now, boys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so you found, you found the protocol from yep, the base? Yep, the one breed here, right? Uh, the GPS units were, they'll, uh, they'll give us a, a breakdown of uh, what sort of workload looked like, but what we need. Yeah, there's, there's good feeling in the camp. Um, come off, I suppose, a couple of couple of wins. So, uh, yeah, good feeling. Feeling uh, pretty confident, but we know that um, the Bay's going to come out firing. They're sort of uh, in dire straits a little bit. They really need to win this. So, um, expecting a bit of an onslaught and we just need to make sure uh, we keep improving as well. We've had a quick ball to his fellow locking partner, Leon Power. Lost it on the ground. Here's the counter. Here's the danger. And a quick turn over. McDonald can't believe his luck. And last McDonald picks up the loose ball, scoops over, untouched, tried by a plenty. But out this time, Braid dropped it backwards, made some yards in the tidy up. Latimer got the ball away to Retallick. Pieto puts the tackle in, doesn't stop the flow, McDonald for try number two! They're only left, they've run out of space anywhere else, so you to Anscombe, he thinks there's a gap, he's right! Gareth Anscombe all the way! They've got the ball back from the line out, the kick is high, certainly 50-50 contest, pass straight into the hands of Phil Burley, will he have the gas go all the way? The answer is an emphatic yes! Closing out the game is working for Bay of Plenty. They're forcing Auckland into errors, yet not quite shutting down their own opportunities to attack. Masanga pops it up. McCash in the link. McDonald looking for try three. Ford passed there, I thought, slightly, but they continue on. Close to the touchline. Over the goal line. And is McCashin come up with a try? And now it's turned over. Paul kicks it out, the game is over, the records are set. They have plenty to take the John Drake Memorial Trophy from Auckland's grasp. When you need quality hose and fittings, you need NZ.